Hi everyone, and uh, I want to show you uh, my um, my Midori inserts. What I finished, um, and that uh, inserts actually is right there, and um, it's all dedicated to that uh, time when Natasha and Phoebe was here. So we decided we're going to do uh, any kind of journaling about and. Um, because I just, at that time, I just uh, first time introduced myself to Midori and uh, just uh, not so long ago I made that uh, leather covers for uh, my, for my uh, travel journals. So, um, I will show you just uh, what is inside. That, um, I made my own, um, that inserts and I made it from what it was it was like yeah it was like that this this is it this is um it i start from that so you will not believe it and that can come in that size and it was that very beautiful um uh, japanese paper it's um it's handmade not completely handmade but it's a uh, um mm, very pretty paper, uh, very pastel, shabby colors here, any kind of color, and it has gold and silver foils besides the traditional Japanese flicks. So this is usually the, the Japanese paper have that parts, but the f uh, gold and silver I really like. So that it was my start from, and this is what I end up. Let me show you a few things. Here. So okay, where is my? Uh, okay, so I keep the cover with the paper that is um, um, wrap paper, and my girlfriend Sakika, so she's a Japanese lady here uh, near a uh, neighbor, and. Um, she, then sometimes when we, she comes to me, so she's bringing something, and she handmade the pattern. And then she handmade stamps that paper with black and red, um, bla black and uh, red uh, flowers. How cool is that pattern? That right. So I really like that, and I kept it for three years. That paper, and finally I got that uh, as a memory for me. So it's about my friend Sakika. Then you open here. It's uh, this is from came from original travel notebooks. And I uh, kind of like go crazy about here is the map actually of my city where I am, Otsunomiya, right here. So this is the uh, floor plan, and my house is right there, somewhere here. This is downtown, of course, and we live somewhere right there. So this is the train station's map of the city, and um. I was not uh, journaling like day one, we ate this, day two, we went there, I slept well or not well. I do not go that way journaling wise, but I do write the good, cool, interesting points about. For example, I start all my uh, first page, it's about the Japan or about the Natasha arrived, right? So something like that. So I just put it some a year here and I am writing why reason I'm writing that journal here you will see both language I will write some page in English some page in in Russian whatever I feel like I'm going switching and out in and out and then I'm writing a little bit more so I uh, die cut from the magazine the um, greeting like of words in Japanese like konnichiwa, ahai gozaimasu and so and so and so so how you can some words I can uh, I can say some of course not very good I can understand but I cannot talk very much in Japanese and here I put the pictures of me and uh, my lovely husband of course I will I will cover the private pictures uh, of friends and uh, because I'm not sure when they won't be seen on YouTube. Um, so that picture was taken in 2010. Oh my God! This is the first time when we arrived, when we I was here in Japan. Um, 
of course I am writing about general area in mountain Fuji so I created that page so it's fussy cut and some magazine travel magazines uh, things here uh, a few words about the Tokyo um, that didn't start journaling about Natasha and Phoebe yet. so it's just in general so which is the Tokyo and when it was first established so I like more um, then I look back a few years after so of course I will forget, forget but uh, like general like more encyclopedia level so how many people live here where is that name came from so I'm writing that that pictures in Ginza was taken uh, 2013 and I really like that picture. So that actually my own pictures. When uh, one day we were with, there with my husband, and um, in the Ginza area, in the Saturday and Sunday, from 12 to f to 5, uh, whole streets is closed for pedestrians, so you can walk. Musicians perform. It's all shoppings there. It's nice, nice atmospheres. And um, the gentleman brings there, like I understood, he's there almost all the time because the local people say that. That two cats all this sleep in there and the gentleman is playing music and kind of like you pay for so that two he's bringing to his cats there and they're laying down in that uh, street post it's not very tall probably a meter and a half tall and that two cats are sleeping there how cool is that I like that pictures yes yeah, um then um of course i tried to insert few my favorites like i like that envelope um so i decided to put that and tell uh, that is very cool japanese i don't know i don't know what their envelopes for but it's all over here many people like every store you can purchase them and i like that cute little thing phone cards and uh, something about uh, area and um many stickers here mm. yeah I'm talking here oh that that page is um, God probably five years ago I was doing the project with kids and uh, should be some like quick 40 minutes project and I decided to do um, bookmarks and this is the bookmarks we were making with kids and uh, I have one left over for me and uh, put sticker here just behind that we bought with Natasha when Natasha was here in Phoebe this is the the game and the kind of like it's kanji and then it's some written story here and you need to guess whatever is I don't know whatever is game but uh, um, so I put that here and behind it's me with very famous uh, Korean group uh, in 2013 when we were flying in the airport was like full size human size the die cuts of the group and uh, I decided to stick just right there so I'm the part of the team <laughs> yes ah, fussy cut some pieces I had here then I'm writing because it's journaling and um the Natasha made the point when the good thing about the, I when I travel I have many little things you know tickets and little things about that country from that country besides the photos and I always I have like files of files of them and I was thinking to do photo album and stick it there but I discussed actually thanks Natasha so she said I can do that and I tried that is the perfect so I can stick all my little things um, you know from uh, like marks uh, cars whatever I purchased little tiny memorabilia in the journal and you will see a lot of them in that journal I put already so I already had it here at home and I already put it here so I'm talking about agriculture here and um, so yeah when I do journaling I actually research information and uh, put interesting facts there so it's very if you will read you will learn a lot about Japan <clears throat> so here I'm talking about um, railroads here in um, uh, Japan and that is uh, that is actually not the ticket ticket I have the tickets uh, right but when you purchase many tickets here uh, that the slip that will give you and this is um, the um, bullet train 
sleep and um, I'm talking here about that uh, bullet train when it's created and all that thing that is the postcards so you purchase the book and uh, one postcard is already painted for you in one you need to do so I thought maybe later I will be bored and I can do something with that postcard and this is my city spelled in kanji here Ah, the pictures from magazine from my city where I live and here example like this is that uh, I was talking so I have many memorabilia already and uh, this is one of them uh, it's uh, actually received when I did the kimono photo shoots uh, professional down here what is a traditional thing in Japan and the girl who is like 19 or 20 years old usually the parents um, dress the boy or girl in the kimono and it's full day event uh, and they take that pictures traditionally dress hair done everything like very old high level and um, of course I need to do that this is what is about downtown in my city yes you will see rice field it's true the rice fields is everywhere even in downtown and this is the map of Japan that the Tokyo will be the Tokyo will be right here this is whole the Chiji area and my city is right there I just met um, now it's so cool this is hairdresser my husband loves to go there that place where we've been that place where we uh, had very nice dinner with Natasha Phoebe and our Japanese girlfriend girls they were very kind to invite us so here I'm talking about that and uh, some of our nice uh, store um, around uh, antique store that is Kit Kat and it's uh, how cool look at that that is cool. It's all in Japanese and it was for Easter. Huh? How cool, right? Mint and uh, yellow color was. Yeah, Kit Kat was yellow, chocolate. Uh, me in downtown. And uh, when we were in that place having uh, lunch, the uh, Sakiko Road in Kanji, the Russia, and uh, in Kanji, my name. But it's it, it's not meaning the name it's meaning that is not meaning uh, what my name means it's just how it sounds I -ri -na. but because I'm foreigner my my name will never be spelled in kanji only Japanese names and words spelling last names spell in kanji um, for foreigners it will be hiragana katakana so, but she was kind enough, so she spelled my name in kanji, what looks very cool. I like how my name looks very long. <laughs> yes, here is all about kimono, and this is I was talking about. So this is me, and uh, that was two years ago. Two, yeah, two years ago. Like I said, it's very professional dye. This is my husband. After all sessions was done, um, he's next to me sitting. That is very beautiful ceremony. Uh, whole crew, not only like designer for your hair or for your makeup. They have special ladies to make a like that bow and dress you. It's like five of girls over like just taking you and do all that. Very very impressive experience. So and this is a story about how kimono originated, where it came from. I mean, in thousands, hundreds of years ago, it's all about history of kimono, and uh, the original kimono was not looking like it's today. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you all that little details. It's just more, I like all that studying thing. <laughs> That is next page is actually Mashiko, um, what is nearby village, uh, Pateri village nearby um, us, um, where they created that um, any kind of uh, dishes and uh, from clay. And Natasha actually, I took her there just to do that experience because I had same experience and I created my own uh, 
my own dishes uh, there. Uh, I was using exactly that machine, so you kind of like uh, put that there and they was doing that thing. So it's me, Phoebe, and Natasha right there, and I'm talking about that experience when it was the date and da 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 da. So this is it. More few things from there, and this is the delivery slip. Um, then my dishes, what I created for my husband arrived so this is the slip there and since then it's all about post office here i put the all like i send it something to my friend and this is the slip from the post office oh yep um sometimes i leave the spot open so for example here i left the spot because i had something in my mind to write and i just didn't have time yet i will actually write about um emperor family i just need to research a little bit more and uh, here is the next page uh, it's um our experience already in we were already in Tokyo so first when Natasha arrived we were in Mashika and a few, when we rest one day then we went to Tokyo thanks Phoebe and her husband they uh, took us um, they helped us to reserve hotel in, in Tokyo and they took us a uh, very nice few days trips around the Tokyo area and Tokyo in particular and this is that guess what that is yes this is how Japanese money looks but of course that is not real it's all gold but it is plain cards so when we were in um, Tokyo or in uh, sky tree we saw that very beautiful deck we purchased that and we split the cost between three, three, three of us because you don't need so many uh, gold cards so that is very very cool I like that so I decided to put it here and this is the yen in kanji how it looks here I'm talking about the yen's history and uh, when it's first time they start to use the word yen and also and so and so like I said it's if you will look it's like book you know you will learn <laughs> Sushi, I can read and write in hiragana in katakana, of course, not kanji, so I can write, uh, um, if I know the word, I can write in um, hiragana, and I spelled sushi here, and I put the stickers right there. Uh, yes, I'm talking here about when uh, we were in that nice restaurant, and this is what Phoebe and her husband ordered, <laughs> yeah, cool, right? I like tempura, I really do. And this is cool stickers here. It's kind of like pop-up stickers. Love that. Looks very cute here. Um, that page I left it up to, and I'm not sure we'll write. That is the fussy cut from the coloring book. What Natasha purchased, and I scanned few pages. Thanks, Natasha. So I colored that uh, with my pencils, and I stick that here. And next day. Or it was same day. No, it was next day. It was not the same day, maybe. Don't remember. We went to the sky tree. Sky tree. That is the washi tape I purchased there in sky tree. And it's all cool washi tapes. The tickets from that date. Three of us right there. So cool. And uh, I'm talking about how tall and so and so and so. And it's actually very interesting. Um, so the it's 634 meters tall. It's only two meters the low, second tallest tower in the world. Yeah, sorry, like I was saying, uh, my battery was dead. Um, yeah, like I was saying, so um, the area where is that um, sky tree built, I believe called a uh, Musa. Musashi or Musashi, Musashi, I think, and that that is meaning like a six, three and four. So far, like I understood. So somehow the name of the area is um, related to that six hundred thirty-four meters tall 
uh, tower. How cool is that, right? So this is what usually I um, put in my journaling. So I'm like when I'm in with guide or when I'm taking tours, so I try to remember the the main cool points of that, and um, then I put it in my journal. So this is the booklet from the Sky Dream, and this is the crazy thing. Oh, yes. I was going nuts cuckoo, honey. I was going nuts cuckoo there because that is that very old, uh, probably from 60s, that uh, Japanese heroes. And they were all over in that Sky Tree Tower at that time. So you need to go on each floor, including the additional floor, what we went to in the stem. Each area. You need to stem five. You need to find five stems, and I did it. Guess what? Look at this. How cool is that, guys? Right? And that stamp is uh, actually um, the face of that that the Star Girl. It's face of that tower. So I stamped that booklet. Yes, I was like, like a kid running around. See the three of them behind that. This is the heroes, right? And they were like flying right everywhere. It's some cartoon or videos or game. I don't know. I think it's film or movies about that. So about that um, Power Rangers. Then uh, next day we went in my uh, uh, Tokyo Bay Aqua line. How cool! Yes, I'm writing about that. And Phoebe and her husband was telling us very interesting thing about three of us right there pictures, and that is nice. Um, nice. Um, Mm, postcards that uh, actually Phoebe and her husband gave it to us. They purchased in the store and they gave it. How sweet! So this is us and I put more information about that uh, Tokyo Bay line. Very interesting place. Very it took them 23 years to plan. Can you imagine in only 9 years to build? 23 years engineers were like scratching their head how we can do it, what and da da da, an emergency exit. That is very cool. And they built it in the 9 years and then uh, opened in 97 and when um, uh, actually, CB told us it was very, very expensive, and that is where is that um, was short um, cut between Tokyo and Chiba area, or not Chiba, but that uh, area. Yeah, I think it's Chiba, and um, its connections. But before that, you kind of like need to go 100 kilometers around to reach the Tokyo. What of course is convenient right now. Um, but it was crazy expensive. But mayor, actually, of that area, told I will drop the price, and now it's very reasonable. Uh, it's not cheap, but you know, toll roads in the United States is not cheap even. So uh, that is very unique place, I think. The next page I was talking about National uh, Japanese Museum. That is the the front page I cut from. How cool! And this is, uh, yeah, because I didn't go crazy, I think I need to put few more informations here. And uh, yeah, I did a few pages here, but not a lot. Like I said, I sometimes I leave that uh, little spots so I can come back. And this is the Nikko. Um, a few days before Natasha left back to Japan, I, we went to Nikko, what is nearby. It's only 20 kilometers away from us. And this is the map of the whole shrines and museums here. Very beautiful. And Nico is famous for free monkeys. Cannot see, cannot say, cannot cannot talk, but it's about evil. I cannot see the evil. I cannot hear evil. I cannot say anything evil. And uh, yeah, a very cool place. Very Japanese, many things. Uh, very historic, very tradition, beautiful, beautiful, ornate. This is pictures took probably many years ago there. That's a cool thing I purchased there when I was with Natasha. Uh, this is kind of like you pay the dollar and you receive that very like lucky thing, you know. And of course that tiny envelope I need to have it because I love cats. I purchased that uh, charm and this is from the charm. 
that is a handmade neko uh, nemiru neko uh, stamp I made so it's sleeping cat because they do have the mm, little temple not temple but kind of like little area where is sleeping cat and uh, they say um, it's a lot of foods there in that area like the store original I mean originated original in hundreds years ago but that uh, workers of the temple they say in that area where is that uh, uh, they have that all pray not they're not praying to the cat it's kind of like area called the um, sleeping cat and um, they never see the mouse there rats or mouse so even then the cat is sleeping it's protecting uh, yes so they have any, any kind of legends there so the cat is dreaming of the kittens <laughs> yeah a few things uh, here I want I want to write um, about the trees because when on the way you go to that uh, Nico area from my town it's very very old ancient beautiful uh, trees what well, the cedar trees and uh, we took that um, uh, um, little examples from there and I stuck it there so I will just write a few things here about and um, of course one very cool temple there uh, it's called Crying Dragon um, in YouTube you can go in the Google and you can find the unique of that of that uh, temple inside it they have ceiling and uh, in on the ceiling it's big dragon painted and the eye is kind of like um, looks very realistic but the thing is about then you are staying just under the eye and you clap that that eye will vibrate vibrate and it will be echo two times echo in the whole uh, in the whole temple inside but you step few steps away like one meter away from the eye if you're not standing just under uh, you will never receive same result there you will never have that echo it's such a cool thing just look on YouTube and you will find it very beautiful very beautiful uh, temple uh, there so this is that and uh, the last I think the pictures of me here it's on the bridge me and Natasha we took pictures and that is the original bridge not not it's wooden but that is original spot where original bridge look like was built almost 600 years ago in the first time um, um, they start to do the temples in that area and this is not pedestrian and because but you can go and drive just behind few meters behind that bridge but uh, that is not pedestrian because um, original that bridge can walk only member of that um, shogun who buried there in that temple or emperor family could walk in that bridge the regular people could never step in that bridge only last couple um, like I don't know I cannot say how many but only the in modern time the people can walk but it's usually the workers or people who are praying to the God and do ceremony and it's only like I think two or three times in a year that bridge is open where it's actually not emperor family or members of that uh, shogun can walk in that bridge so that is why it's always closed yeah, like I said, it's many, many interesting things. And this is the uh, bus ticket, bus uh, schedules. That is when we were in the museum, museum uh, we were writing kind of like the kanji. And I put it right there, which is very cool. Yeah, we were like kids playing there too. And this is it. So this is my travel... Um, travel Natasha traveled to Japan Midori and uh, I like how it came out and um, just will let you know that um, uh, that uh, pocket I saw it and how cool is that look at this I like that I saw it and uh, if you have two different fabrics and I put two different fabrics inside so it's light and you can see it and I can keep, I can keep all my uh, like little paper and pens right there. So this is it, guys. This is my uh, mm, so far, 
so far only like um, uh, inserts and uh, I wish you all just if you like to journal in I think that sizes works very nice for me many things I can put there and uh, yeah I like my Dory. Thank you everyone for watching that long, long, long video and I wish you all have a great day. Bye.